Yo, what's going on everyone? Breeze is back with the next episode of GM Mode. Now, last episode, we just went through the... I think it was the Hell in the Cell pay-per-view. I forget exactly which one. Uh, I'm pretty sure we won, or had more fans game, but we're still very far behind. So, it doesn't matter. Um, I really... I am struggling to think that we are going to actually win this. Um, but hopefully we come back. Uh, as you see, I went through the messages already. I told Trish Strash she'd team with Asuka in the next three weeks. And then I promised Cena two weeks off, who is our champ. So, looking at the roster, Cena gets time off. Even though him and Balor are in a new feud. Um, Shayna and Stratus are probably the next feud to really get on. She wants to team with Asuka, who is down in popularity. That's good. That's going to be tough. Um, but yeah, we, we'll probably do something with that. Uh, I, I don't know. I'll figure something out for Trish to do that. Maybe I can have a run-in on Trish. Maybe I have Asuka, Natalia team with someone else, maybe. How much? I don't really think I need Natalia or Asuka. But... Whatever, we got Lesnar and Breeze, that's probably our hottest feud right now. Or one of the hottest feuds. Uh, we have a bunch of people who are low on stamina, so let's see what my plan is here. Because I don't even know it. Uh, we got some questionable people there. I'm thinking about signing a legend to kind of come over and feud. I wouldn't mind The Rock, but I don't want to do a specialist or a specialist i guess i could with seth rollins and that'd be probably a decent feud but let's get into the show for now um i guess the middle match we'll do a tag match even though the women are horrible which i do feel bad for but hey what are you gonna do hopefully it just doesn't start a feud two fighters with a group I just, I don't want Asuka and Natalia in a feud. That's the only thing. Um, I do, so Cena needs two weeks off. In that time, I want to give at least one self-promo to Balor. Then I think I'm going to try to start a feud here. Which, uh, I kind of want to get Olaf sometime, but I also don't know what to do. I'm in a sticky situation with my roster because there's like there's a few people that I want to use but I can't, and I actually have no one for certain people like Bal or Reigns and Brock. Outside of Tyler Breeze, I don't have anyone for them. Same with like Balor. I guess Balor could do Cesaro after Cena. Um, no one. For, I mean, I could do Cesaro and Morrison. So. I think it's time to pick up someone. Um, I'm tempted to do a fighter or a bruiser like that. But I think for now, until we get a better person, we're just going to pick up a legend. And I think the legend is going to be... Eric Bischoff, maybe. Um, I need a face. I don't need a cruiser, because I already did Eddie. A bruiser would be good... Bruiser or Fighter, I think, or Cruiser. It's a heel Cruiser, wouldn't it be bad? If I do a Bruiser, I can do someone with Morrison or probably Orton because Morrison's kind of just here at this point. Oh, he does have a match specialty, though. So maybe I could do someone with Morrison with TLC. Um, I don't have any cruiserweights, so I think I might end up getting rid of Olaf and Keith Lee because I don't have cruiserweights for them anyway. I guess I could sign Humberto Carrillo and do something with at least Olaf to build it up. But I'll keep him for now just to see if I find a cruiser that I like for either one of them. Maybe I'll do Stone Cold just to have... well. Alright, we'll do Hulk Hogan for 10 weeks. 65,000. That's fine there. And then we can have Randy Orton or Hogan, whatever one's better, call out the other. Call out Randy Orton. I want Randy Orton doing something. 
so I'm fine there. Breeze and Lesnar start off the show. We'll just do a normal match, try to keep everyone's stamina semi-low. And then main event, we don't have any feuds going on. We need Cesaro off the show. Cena wants two weeks of rest. Seth Rollins is pretty hurt as well. Maybe I'll do The Miz vs. Reigns. Maybe actually put that as our opener. And then kind of just put, we'll put a tables match on for them just to get something out of our main event. That, that's probably going to be the show that we have this week. It's really rough, but hopefully we can start that feud. It, maybe I should probably start another one here. Probably should. Um, but I think I'm going to wait till next week just to try to get someone else anyway. So I'm not going to for now. I do have To The Moon on someone. I'm actually going to put it on Randy Orton, I think. Yeah, we're gonna put Randy Orton on to the moon. Or Asuka. I could do Asuka. And then after Trish Stratus, we can redo Asuka and Shayna. Hopefully, as long as Trish doesn't win the title. Plus 15 would bring her to 50 something. Randy Orton would bring him to 70 something. I think we're gonna just put it on Randy. I, I want Randy to be sort of in the main picture so let's put that on for him i think i need him in a match actually after the next match so if i don't put him in the match would that put him into the next week maybe i maybe i do a call maybe i do put the match on first hogan and orton hopefully that just starts a feud and then maybe I can have Miz call out Reigns, start a feud there. That, that's probably how we'll do it. And then that will, if it starts a feud with Hogan and Randy, that'll probably be one of my better feuds with popularity. So yeah, let's do that. I need show logistics, thank God. Uh, Capital Wrestling Center. Uh, 13 quality. It does have the best quality, but it doesn't have the most seats, so I think we'll be fine with that. Nine, no. We'll just do McMahon Family. We'll do that. And we'll do that. 185k show. Hopefully next week we find someone in the free agency. That's good enough for me. But let's just get into this. So, Randy Orton and Hulk Hogan, please, for the love of God, start a feud. Hulk Hogan picks up the victory. Starts a rivalry, thank God. Okay, this should be good. Hopefully, neither of them get, like, vetoed in the pay-per-view when I need to end it. Three-star match to start two isn't bad. Balor just kind of hyping himself up. Didn't do great. Ah, uh, we got this tag team match. Just don't start a feud. This one I do not want to feud with. And it doesn't. Alright, that's fine. Two star, that's what I expected. Got a rivalry here with the Miz and Reigns. That's fine. And the main event, Tyler Breeze and Brock Lesnar. Breeze is a 77 popularity. And he beats Brock Lesnar in a tables match. <laughs> like, I love Tyler Breeze, man. I don't know how he became one of my best stars. But holy shit, look at that first match. Hell in the Cell. For the Universal title, I think that one is. I, I don't know the difference there still. I give it up. MVP, who I think was the champion, retains in a classic. Alexa Bliss calls out Tamina again. A run in on Murphy. How has Murphy not been hurt throughout this thing? Oh, two star match. Ignition still here trying to build up. Main event Extreme Rules Billy K versus Lula Tandy. Lula Tandy picks up the victory in a three and a half star match. Main event in mid was the same. They had a much better opening match. So they'll probably end up taking the victory on this one here. Which does suck. Breeze is such a natural for tables matches. Tyler Breeze's specialty is a tables match. What? 
Uh, we actually lost money for signing Hulk Hogan and everything, but that's fine. Uh, 13000 for us. We lost 13000 They actually lost more, but they gained money, so I guess they're kind of a win-win for them. They're still in first, so it doesn't even matter. My champions are pretty much done for. Survivor Series is the next one we're building up to. You told you. Asuka hit it off. Thanks for putting us. Yeah, you, except you guys had a two-star match. But I know I can do more for this brand. Does Rollins have a match? I'll put him in the main event. I'll pro If he doesn't have a rivalry, though. I'm not doing that. Does Rollins have a rivalry? He does not. So what I'm going to do is, uh, can I put him against the Miz? And then have a run in with Roman on the Miz. That's going to be our main event. Hopefully it doesn't fuck anything over. Who's our lowest popular? Um, if I do, if I do a woman instead, would they be mad? Yeah. Okay. What am I going to do here? So now we'll have Hogan call out Orton. And here we'll have... I want Balor to call out Cena, but I don't know if that messes with anything. Before we do it, let's go check the free agency. A Titus O'Neil. Wow. Oh, I could do the Brian Kendrick, I guess. I don't think Brian Kendrick would be the worst option. Uh, I could sign the Undertaker as a bruiser. Or for a feud for a heel bruiser, which I know we have a few of those. Uh, Cesaro want, probably needs to do something. I think middle match, we're just going to sacrifice this show. We're just going to do these two. We're going to put on something, though. TLC, I don't care. Whatever gets you the most there. I think Breeze and Lesnar should probably not do something this week so I'll just have Lesnar do a self promo kind of keep Breeze off the show this week Orton and Hogan are level one the other two are in a rivalry um, I think I'm gonna actually sign Brian Kendrick yeah let's we'll sign Brian Kendrick and though the show will probably not be best, we'll do that there. So maybe that starts a feud, hopefully. Um, does it do better than that match? I'm not sure. So I'm just going to put it first because it's a specially TLC match with Cesaro. So hoping for the best there. Uh, but I'm not confident on this show at all. Oh, we have enough for this one, which is a lot of money to do, but I like having the most, so we're going to do it. Uh, I'm going to buy the Vito Star thing. We're going to get a Hell Spa. Promise Cena a main event match, or sorry, Rollins a main event match. Let's do it. Let's do this show and probably one more, and then the next episode we'll do the other two weeks, or at least one. Cesaro picks up a victory. Three star, and it started a rivalry. Oh no. That is not what I wanted. Hogan picks up the win there, or picks up the good promo there. Keith Lee picks up a victory against the Brian Kendrick, but it starts a feud, so that's good there. Lesnar gets plus two popularity, and then here. The Miz picks up the win, even though I had a run-in. I think that's not a worse show, but theirs is going to be much better. Bliss and Tamina, or Bliss and Lynch against Tamina. And I, I don't even know. Walter doing a promo for no reason because he already has 75 popularity. Mason Ricochet, I feel like these guys have fought like a million times already. Two-star. A weak promo from Lula. 
And Big E wins the title, so probably a much better show than ours. But not by too much, so that's alright. Honestly. We lost twenty two thousand, but we're actually gaining money even with the stuff we bought. Which I'm fine with. They lost twenty seven and a half thousand. Alright. We're still a thousand, like about a hundred thousand away. Two weeks till Survivor Series. That loser Roan Reigns attacked me. I want a match. Um, sure thing. I mean, you're in a feud with him. You're obviously gonna have a match with him. Shot at the title. Yeah, next three weeks. Um. Maybe if Cena retains. Can I. This week and the next week would be two weeks. No, nah, I'd have to do it before. Alright, well, here's what we'll do we'll have Cena versus Orton. Title match interference. We'll have Hogan run in on Randy. Hopefully. Hopefully Randy doesn't win, but if he does, I don't really care because that's probably my top two feuds. Is there a way? I cannot guarantee that Cena will stay healthy afterwards. But... We do have this. I'm not going to fix the match. I don't really care either way. I just don't want Cena getting hurt and we lose that rivalry. Fandango. I could get Ky Kaylee Ray. Um, but I'm not going to. Um, so hopefully whatever happens, nothing bad happens completely. Uh, we'll have Cena get called out as well by Balor. Sounds about right there. Uh, Mid-match, we're not going to do yet. First match, I don't want to do... Reigns and Miz? Tables match, why not? That's their specialty. Um, actually, we should probably not do that and save that for the pay-per-view. Um, I don't want to call... I guess we'll call out... I'm assuming Olofsky has worse. Yeah, he does. Zaro calling out Orlovsky. How is Zaro? Oh, Zaro just got out of the feud. I did forget about that. Mid-match. I'm trying not to make these fours. So we're going to just do a bunch of level one rivalries and hope they do well. Hopefully Hogan and Orton's rivalry still goes up even with the run-in. I'll probably do that. I'm, there's no reason for me to go in an outside stadium, so... 9 or 10. Actually, we'll just do this one. Whatever. We'll go to the concert hall. Sure. Alright, so this will be the show, and then after this one, we'll read the messages. Actually, we might as well just set up... It's going to make the series go by faster. I am trying to finish this up so I can start doing other things anyway. Roman and Miz. Reigns picks up the pick, the victory, the victory in a two and a half star match. Cesaro gets that to a level two rivalry, which is good. Keith Lee and Brian Kendrick. Keith Lee picked up another victory. Three star. I didn't think I'd do better than the opener. Oh no. And Orton wins the match. And Cena's hurt. What is happening? What just happened that show? Oh my god. Okay, uh, title on the line for them. Big E retains. I don't know. That's like the third straight week they've had a title match. Like, okay. Uh. Bethel and Murphy, or Barthel, sorry. Marcel picks up the victory. 
What the hell just happened? If this match is better than three stars. Oh my god, we got fucked this week, dude. Oh my. We have just a bunch of level two rivalries. Cena's only out a week. So I guess that's not the worst thing. I definitely expected it to be worse. Um... I guess that's fine, but Randy Orton's my goddamn champ. <laughs> like, why could I never have the right champ? Does it say anything? Really like Orton on almost every week. Orton is on every week. He's the new champ. Yeah, wow. Well... They did nothing. All right, whatever. 23,000 about. All right, so they didn't lose as much as we did, but they still lost some. What the hell? And now I'm one week to Survivor Series. Why is William Regal texting me? But it won't last. Anyways, I expect to be at the top of the podium at the end of the season. Best of luck. You got two weeks off, Cena. I what? I gave Cena two weeks off, and he's mad because he came back and lost. So schedule a run in this week. All right, whatever. Uh, so Cena's pissed. Shocker. Uh, going into the next show, I want to use at least one of these. I don't know if I can use both. I don't think I can. Yeah, one per week, so I can't use it. Um, I'll give a health and spa to Cena. Can I do it even though he's hurt? We'll give it to Cena. Free agents, we got Strowman, we got T-Bar. Got Lana down there. Lana might not be bad for her. Woman fighter. Bruiser here. Oh, I, I didn't even realize they got rid of China. Huh. Now they want to put X. Was Xbox here last time? Xbox. Xbox. All right, main event. We're gonna probably. Damn, Orton has an 80 stamina still. What the hell? Let's do these two. Main event. Uh, maybe we'll do actually the first match with these two. Main event will do a little higher popularity. Because they were off for a few weeks. Hogan and Orton I'll have like a promo. I guess that's our main event going into the pay-per-view as long as neither of them disappear. Um, main event. I don't want to do... I guess it would have to be Reigns and... No, they just put on a pretty bad match. So let's stick to a call out for them. Cena's off and hurt, so we'll do. Yeah, let's do these two. Stream rules, why not? At the pay per view, we'll probably do like Hell in the Cell or something for them. Uh, Cena's out as well as. Hogan and Orton. So let's have Hogan call out Orton. And then let's have... You can still call out Cena, right? Let's try to get that to a level 3 so it at least ends at the pay-per-view. That's fine there. Middle match. So do I do the Brian Kendrick and Keith Lee? Or the Miz and Reigns? Or Orlovsky and Cesaro? Definitely not Olavsky and Cesaro, because Cesaro's hurt. Or getting hurt. These two just had a match last week, so I guess... I guess we should do these two. Schedule a run-in this week. Maybe I'll set up a tag team match with these four. Or let's just pick, um... Let's pick Miz, and let's just pick someone else, like Rollins. And then we'll have a run-in of Reigns on The Miz. It's not going to bring up the Brian Kendrick and 
Keith Lee's feud, but it's going to give us some money to work with in the next show, so. Yep, alright, whatever. Uh, let's, just, yeah, let's just do this show, and then after that we'll get into the pay-per-view, and then we'll already be, I think, 10, 15 weeks away after that. So, let's get into this. I've been recording for what? 25 minutes let's just do it before I end up having another fully half hour video even though this one's damn near close to it Trish Stratus picks up the victory in a tables match three and a half star level four going into the pay-per-view that's beautiful level four going into the pay-per-view for my hottest feud uh, let's see what happens here Keith Lee and the Miz pick up a victory no rivalry changes I guess that's fine Level 3 promo, or rivalry, Tyler Breeze and Brock Lesnar. Tyler Breeze picked up the victory. Three and a half star, level 4 match. Cool all around. That should beat this show. They'll probably have good matches because of popularity and rivalries and stuff. But, should still beat it a week there. I'm going to go by their show a little quicker. Jordan Devlin and Mace. Mace is just fighting a new cruiserweight every week. Murphy gets a charity promo. Billy Kay probably picks up a victory against Lula. Again. Good booking, good booking. I, I think we beat them. I mean, we tied in two of them, beat them in the mid, so we should beat them. But, let's see. 7,800 match between Keith Lee and Kendrick ended in a DQ thanks to Roman messing things up. That's probably why, because you were supposed to attack the Miz, not... Okay, whatever. Coward, crowd distract me and Tyler Breeze took advantage so desperate you're still pathetic. Why, Brock Lesnar? Why would you... Okay. Um, they definitely lost more, so we definitely had a good man. I thought that said, why did McAfee? I, I read that wrong for a second. He got himself DQ, but didn't... No, I guess he did lose the match. But yeah, that's our that's leading up to the pay-per-view. Randy Orton is our champ, and uh, I don't know what's going to be happening for the pay-per-view. But thank you guys for watching this episode. I know how every time I say I'm going to try to upload more, I upload less. So what is this, four days after the last one? Um, I will say, if you do want to maybe see me more often, I will start streaming on David's channel every now and then. It won't be, it's just for now, it's probably, it could be staying like that. Uh, it's mostly just when I'm, when David's not around, I'll record, or I'll stream on his channel. So if you guys are interested in watching any of my streams, I can link David's channel down below, or David's stream at least down below. And then you guys can run over there and possibly watch me. If not, you can watch him, he mostly does story games, he might every now and then do like WWE or something like that. But he's kind of more of a story game. I am I'm clearly not a story game. I think I have one or two story games completed. I maybe on my channel. So maybe I'll get into that more. But I know he does it. So I can link his channel and his uh, Twitch down below. Go check it out. But uh, guys, until next time, I will talk to you all later.